Hello everybody and welcome to another guidance tutorial for the Golden Shot difficulty level is hard and we are going to take a look at a part 3 from the Sunshine Glades. This is the Sunshine Glades hold that we did not have in the recent Thanksgiving tournament but it is a hold that we have had pretty recently in another tournament. I do not remember the name though so if you do remember the name make sure to comment in the comment section below. Before we take a closer look at everything, make sure to hit the thumbs up button, also subscribe to the channel and turn on the notifications. For those of you that are looking to improve your game even more, scan the QR code here on the screen or you go to patreon.com slash goldclashtommy via the link in the description down below. There you can find premium guides for checkpoint challenge, tour play and tournament play. So if you do want to get access to content that you cannot get access to anywhere else, then you sign up and become a member. So, we are going to take a little closer look here, but on this uh, part 3 we are going to play on two different landing spots. And the reason for that is that we otherwise would go into in-between clubs, um, and uh, that is not something we do want to do. We are playing with the Golden Wood Club every single time, and for the Headwind and the Crosswind we are playing Min, no elevation. And when it comes to the Tailwinds we are playing Mid no elevation. The tailwind is where you can see in the bottom right corner with the blue values where the headwind and crosswind is the green values. Obviously everything like this is portrayed much better on the text guide. If you do get the hole in one it's the obsidian chest, amber chest for the, the yellow ring, crimson chest for the red ring, aqua chest for the light blue ring and cobalt chest for the dark blue ring press the question mark on the top right if you do experience a situation where you have a question you can find the frequently asked questions there but you can also send in a ticket directly to the gold clutch support if something comes up that you cannot find the answer to there all right let's take a look at the landing positions here we are starting with this one which is the crosswind and the headwind position we are in complete min line with the top left of the yellow ring to be by the rough line here you can set this up before or after you add spins it doesn't matter when it comes to the tailwinds as we cannot play from the padding tailwind because we will pull in between clubs then we are going to try a rough bump this is um, a way of playing that will get us close but what you need to have in mind though is that obviously with faulty um adjustments faulty push uh, fa faulty ball centering accidental overpower accidental underpower that could obviously be an issue but the problem with the tailwind angle is that you do not have the uh, backspin enough to land on the fairway and we cannot back up so we are somewhat forced to go aggressive even though i would not like to do so what we're looking for here is before the spin applied Yellow ring overlapping the rough, ball guy to point towards the bright and the dark, like the line between the bright and the dark green square. I know it's difficult, but do your best to find that spot. Once you have found that spot, you are going to add the spins. Now, let's have a look at the videos. And we do have five videos here for you, and we start with the headwind one. And obviously, not obviously, but what you have probably counted out already is that when we do have a crosswind and a headwind we celebrate because that is going to be the easier one to set up and it's also going to be the one that gives you a little bit more room for you know small errors like i talk, uh, said before like with ball uh, with faulty off centering full angles and stuff like that make the adjustment 6.9 miles per hour and we are giving us 2.7 rings center the ball to hit perfect and we are then going to bounce on the pad nicely and get over onto the green and we roll and we roll and we roll and we get in short in line dude that's really not what we want to do obviously but we're getting ourselves the most inner ring now we have already got the amber ring so we're getting the crimson now you can see there is a flamingo ball in the chest there and i wanted to say this again and when we have had a golden shot when we have a golden shot that we've had before i'm somewhat using all the replays as well to talk them over but we are not getting the flamingo balls here we are getting a regular berserker balls now a tailwind shot trying to find the position here before uh, i'm adding the spins 
So top of the yellow ring slightly overlapping the rough line, trying to find the ball guide line pointing towards the divide line between the dark and the bright green square. Adding the spins, and here in the tailwinds, we are going to use more top spin than where we're doing in the headwind and the crosswind. And the reason for that is obviously that we're using a different landing spot. And when we're bouncing into this rough, we are going to need some top spin, otherwise, we will fall short. Adjustments done 2.2 rings, and it will then bounce into the rough, up onto the green. And it rolls down towards the pin and once again short in line ridiculous um so let's have a look to see what we do get in this one the cobalt chest we do have the big topper as an epic and obviously the berserker balls not the flamingo ball now we do have from the min line again the yellow ring by the rock line we are applying the spins and what I've listed here is 0.9 top spin and 0.9 left spin. But again, we have the lowest possible wind here and we're going to adjust two rings. So we adjust the two rings. And we then have a perfect ball bounces on the fairway up onto the green and we need yes a little bit more left spin but still a very good shot and we're getting us close to the hole let's see what we do get in the amber chest as an epic again we're getting berserkers not flamingo balls i'm gonna repeat that for every chest otherwise i have no doubt that there will be someone wondering why am i not getting flamingo balls why am tommy getting the uh, getting the flamingo balls once again it's um, all the replays that I'm using uh, here for this version of the Golden Shot as well. 6.3 miles per hour, uh, left to right crosswind. We are, are doing 0.7 top spin and 1.2 left spin. Um, adjustment is going to be 2.5 reins. Make that just because see that we are somewhat pulling aligned with the, the min line there, which is obviously like truly a true crosswind angle. A perfect ball. And it bounces on the fairway, fairway, and then roll up. Can we get this one to drop then? Yeah, we can. Not dead center, but very close to. And we're getting a hole in one. See what epic we're getting here in the obsidian chest. And we are getting the Thor's hammer. It is truly a good chance for you to pick up some good epics. I know we are focusing a lot on the ball, and that is, that we so should. But a because a berserker ball is not as common anymore to win in tournaments as it once were. But the epic cards that you are getting in the golden shot could be really valuable as well to get some apocalypse, some Thor's hammers, cataclysm, and stuff like that. All right. We are having another, you know, not another headwind, but we are having a um, headwind and a crosswind. 5.1 is two rings to pull, and we're applying the spins as well. We cannot miss that, and it's going to be a problem. Perfect ball it is. We bounce on the fairway, on the fairway, rolls up onto the green, coming with beautiful speed, dropping dead center for the holding one. All right, let's have a look at this chest and then we will be summarizing in this guide together with the hex guide. Let's charge my keyboard at the same time. All right, let's have a look at the text guide here. And you can see here from the left, it's the green. And that is from Minline, yellow ring by the rough. And you will always have the same in line because we're all playing with the same clubs. You have the VPR table there on the left. And then we do have the spins for that. The indirect crosswind left to right, 0.7 top spin, 1.2 left spin. Right to left, the direct crosswind, 0.7 top spin, 1 left spin. Yes, we're using left spin all the time here. And that's because otherwise we will miss right. But it would obviously 
in our heads make sense that we would be using right spin in right to left wind, but we will not. Left to right crosswind and headwind, 0.9 top spin, one left spin, right to left crosswind and headwind, 0.9 top spin, 0.9 left spin, and direct headwind, 1.1 top spin and 0.8 left spin. Now we're looking at the right side of the text guide, which is the blue yellow ring overlapping rough ball guide to point towards the bright slash dark green square divide line vpr table on the bottom right and the spins are direct tailwind three top spin 0 0.3 right spin left to right tailwind and crosswind 3.8 top spin no side spin and right to left crosswind and tailwind it is also and 3.1 top spin you can find this text guide on social medias when it comes to Gold Clash, but also on our website goldclashtommy.com and we do also have a link to it in the description down below. Thank you so much everybody for watching this version of the Golden Short Hard Guide. Make sure to comment in the comment section below how it went for you and if you enjoyed the guide hit thumbs up. Thank you once again for watching I wish you the best of luck in your Gold Clash game.